Well, hello, beautiful people of YouTube. Hopefully, everybody's doing pretty good. Uh, today, I want to show you how to uh, figure out your PO420 issue. Um, on most vehicles, you have catalytic converters, and you have oxygen sensors, one before and one after. And I'm going to show you on this Foxwell NT630 Pro, the airbag and ABS uh, toolkit, the tool here. I'm going to show you uh, how to figure out which catalytic converter is bad and how to check it on a waveform. Pretty simple little video here. This is my 2000 Expedition. 149,000 miles. And I uh, just got an alignment done on it today. It's running great, but the PO420 code is back. And uh, I just want to show you, uh, before you pull your hair out and start changing parts on your vehicle, do yourself a favor, get your scan tool. These are about $100, very reasonable now. And uh, just go in here and uh, pull up a waveform, and uh, you'll be able to tell if your catalytic converter is actually working uh, like it should be. Now, on mine here, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, pull up some uh, live data, and uh, we'll start with the left side, which is bank 2, <clears throat> and we'll just go ahead and pull up a custom uh, graph here, a custom list. I should say. I'm holding on the camera with one hand and doing this with the other, so bear with me. So we'll go to side bank two. Okay, so here we go. We've got uh, bank two. There we go. Boy, I tell you, it's been one of those days. Here we go. Okay, we'll go bank two, sensor one. So we'll check that one. And we'll go to bank two, sensor two. And we'll check out the data. And we'll go ahead and graph it here. And we can, on this tool, which is pretty nice to have, uh, you can do two graphs. So we're going to look at the first oxygen sensor, the top graph you see there. And there is the bottom. Now the vehicle's idling. Now for these oxygen sensors to work and really uh, give the computer some good information, if your cats are working or not, you got to really bring your RPM up to about 2,000 RPM. So that's what we're going to do. So we'll bring the RPM up, and we'll watch the waveform. Now the first one, you can see it's bouncing up and down. 0.8, the bottom one down to 0.095. So it's working. It's doing what it's supposed to do. It's going rich, lean, rich, lean. Telling the computer how much fuel to put into the uh, engine. And that's what's uh, going into the cat. And on the bottom, you can see... The bottom graph is working pretty good. It's cleaning up pretty good. You don't want these two looking exactly the same. And uh, if I give it a little more gas, you can see how the line is sort of going flat on the bottom here. That means that that oxygen sensor is detecting that that cat is working. It is actually cleaning up what is going in. So that is a good catalytic converter on bank two. That's what we want to see. Pretty much a flat line there. All right, so we let up on the idle, and let's go back and let's check side. Let's check the bank one, and uh, we'll go to bank one real quick. This is side. Now this is the side that's actually bad. It's on the right side. It's where your number one cylinder is. That's how you know which is bank one, bank two. And uh, let me go down here. Okay, there is uh, O1 it's oxygen sensor, bank one sensor one. So let's check it, and let's go down to sensor 2, bank 1, check it, and let's check the data out, and let's graph it, <clears throat> and let's do two graphs. Now, this is the one that's bad. Now, see the first sensor going in, how it's jumping up and down just like it should. And the RPM right now is at 2,000 RPM. And look at that bottom sensor. It says whatever's going into that catalytic converter, it's the same stuff's coming out. It is pretty much trashed. You see that waveform is pretty much identical. That's what you do not want to see on a catalytic converter. So I know the right side, bank one, is bad. And unfortunately for me, I have two catalytic converters. I have a pre-cat and a step-down cat, they call it. 
but I might be able to get by just replacing just one but I'm not sure about the second one it looks like it might be a resonator I'll have to do a little more research but in a nutshell I just wanted to show you this is how you tell which side is bad and if you actually have a catalytic converter that's going bad to get a PO420 so just a quick video guys hope you enjoyed it maybe I'll do some more tutorials later so uh, having said that thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you later. Have a good one, and thanks for watching all my videos, guys. Been pretty good so far. A lot of subscribers out there, so thanks a lot, and I'll see you, see you later.